Hey, what's up guys? It's Arm Alieri and I'm back with a new video. Today I'm doing a speed test of a uh, solid state drive that I put into the MacBook Pro. Uh, I will link the installation of that in the description. But basically I put a second solid state drive in with the existing hard drive and removed the DVD-ROM. So all I have is two disk drives in my MacBook Pro now. I also upgraded the RAM to the maximum of 8 gigabytes. So this is going to be the first boot and I'm going to show you how quickly it's going to boot into uh, OS 10.7 Lion. Uh, so go ahead and check this out guys. Um, this is going to be a great video so stay tuned. Alright guys we're back and we're going to go ahead and boot up the MacBook Pro and show you how fast uh, a solid state drive boots up and it's definitely a upgrade that I would recommend. So uh, without further ado here we go. Alright guys, so you can see that was pretty darn fast from the time it took to hit the chime to uh, it loading the desktop and the dock showing everything being there. It is lightning fast. You can see everything pops up almost instantly. I can pop up uh, the options. I can pop up the calendar. It's instant load with stuff. Uh, I can go ahead and open up the Mac App Store. Just look how quickly it loads up. It's uber fast. Um, go ahead and show you um, the... Um, launch pad there and go into spaces super quick everything is lightning fast let's see how quickly safari pops up pops up and it is loaded uh, almost instantaneously guys it's crazy how fast this thing is uh, we'll go ahead and just load a web page and just see it goes straight to Apple's website everything is real snappy and uh, uh, lightning fast so if you guys are looking to upgrade your computer without buying a new one throwing in a solid state drive and maxing out the RAM is highly recommended. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, switch my startup disk to the traditional hard drive that's built in. So we're going to go in here. You can see I'll have two hard drives. There's one and there's the solid state. So I'm going to switch to the um, regular hard drive and we're going to go ahead and restart and show you um, how quickly uh, that is going to boot up. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the computer just so you can see um, how quickly the um, the shutoff is. It's really, really fast. So I'm going to go in here, just hit shut down, and boom. It should be off just that quick. It's amazing how fast this stuff is, guys. So what we're going to do now, we've switched over to the traditional hard drive, and I'm going to go ahead and boot that up and show you how quickly that boots up. Alright guys, we're back and we're going to go ahead and boot up the regular traditional hard drive uh, just to show you the difference in the boot times. It's pretty significant. So let's go ahead and boot up the uh, standard hard drive. And you notice the difference. Um, the chime went off with the solid state and we're almost instantaneously into the uh, operating system. Here you can see right away we're getting the spinning uh, ball even though the RAM memory is um, maxed out. Um, this has to do with the limitations of a traditional hard drive since it uses a spinning magnetic disk versus actual um, solid state memory that has no moving parts. Um, it's obvious to see the difference in time. Um, it's pretty significant so uh, looks like it might finally just want to begin to boot. Um, it's well into, I would say, you know, going into 30 seconds here and we still haven't gotten in. Um, let's see what happens now. It's still trying to boot. Major, major difference, guys. Now, both of the uh, boot ups that I did are with um, clear profiles, so there's no um, user data whatsoever uh, into these. Um, boot up profiles uh, as you can see so there shouldn't be any third party applications getting in the way of the boot uh, this is merely a difference in the technology of the hard drives um, so you can see it's still giving us the spinning beach ball 
I don't know if you can see it, but I'll move my cursor. It's taking quite a bit of time for the uh, hard drive to access the data and bring it up for us. It's still trying to boot. Um, and finally, here we are. So you guys, just by looking at this, you can tell uh, there's nothing wrong with the hardware. It's the exact same hardware that booted up lightning fast a second ago with the solid state drive that is um, performing this way. So just imagine the um, boost in performance you're getting by making a simple upgrade of your hard drive. So uh, it is very, very significant. And um, I highly recommend it for you guys. You should definitely, if you own a MacBook Pro laptop, the first thing you should do is uh, upgrade its hard drive to a solid state drive. Uh, this particular kit with the data doubler was about $100 for a 30 gigabyte drive. And um, you know you can get rid of your disk drive and use the 30 gigabyte solid state as your boot drive and the, in my case, 250 gigabyte traditional drive for just storage. Um, so that'll give you an optimal uh, solution here to use um, your two um, hard drives for. So anyway, you get the point. I'm going to go ahead and switch it um, back to the solid state drive for startup. Um, just because now that I have been liberated, I see no point in um, in actually using the um, traditional drive anymore. So I'll go ahead and do that here. Uh, this test account is not an administrator, so it won't let me do that anyway. But you guys get the point. Uh, that was the solid state drive speed test comparison. If you do have questions or comments, please do leave them below. I'll do my best to give you the best advice possible. Uh, thumbs up, rate, and subscribe as it helps me make these videos for you guys. And uh, stay tuned because I'll have lots more coming. You can follow me on Twitter at rmalieri or on the web at iosapadvice.com. As always, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.